All right, so we're going to do something new. Uh, this is Master Reboot. I will be playing this very blindly. I have not taken my time to load up the tutorial or anything. I'm just going to run on into the game and see what that's like. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it seems to take the controller, and I love using the controller. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about this game, but it looked really good. Um, there were some decent reviews about it on, uh, I think I got it from Bundle Stars or Green Man Gaming. But I got it for cheap is all that matters. Did I land in, like, unfinished Bioshock Infinite? Oh, I am... Uh, I can't change it. Oh, uh, I play video games inverted, which is apparently un-American. So this is kind of um, awkward for me. Eh. Give me that balls, balls in my face. So, do I get to reboot things? Did I get to reboot it? Is this a game of reboot? You know, I, I heard so many good things about that show, but I only caught, like, the last season, and it was really good, and I have no idea anything about the characters from whatever. But it was cool. Wait, what's that supposed to do? Ah! It makes a loading screen! Okay. Ooh, ooh. Hands across America. And I found myself in... Oh, what's that new game where you're in the woods and it's a survival horror? In the woods? <laughs> Is that what it's called? <laughs> oh, it's like Cabin in the Woods. Good movie if you haven't seen that yet. A uh, little something about myself that I like to pride myself on. I, I love horror movies, um, specifically good horror movies, so I tend to gravitate towards it. Uh, boogie! Is that what that means? Uh, aha! Bees crouch. Interesting that it doesn't tell you the button that is associated with it. Maybe it's because I have the controller. And it's like, I don't know what these buttons are. You could be using a PS4 controller. Oh, I'm broke. I gotta use a Xbox 360 controller. Here's Jenny. Whoa. Whoa. Eat gads. I cut, cut, cut for justice. Oh, hey. I'm gonna build me a box fort out of this. And then a creeper pops up around the corner and... Fuck! I see this is all, like, Tronish. I recently got into the beta of Landmark. I would show it to you guys, but uh, my computer probably can't handle showing that and recording at the same time. But it is really cool. It's like Minecraft and EverQuest all together. Mines? Minecarton. I just keep pushing. Oh. And then I push. So far, I have no idea what's going on. And I think that's the point. Cut. That's a wrap. That was an easy tree to cut through. Damn. 
Those are one of those balsa wood trees. <laughs> In the middle of nature. Duck. Duck, duck, goose. What the hell did that mean? I don't get it. I can't take it anymore. No falling damage, apparently. That was a long-ass drop, too. Uh. <laughs> Somebody scream! <laughs> oh, good old Dane Cook reference. Half of you will get it. Whatever half of two is. Oh. Oh! Hello, ducky! <laughs> Squeakity squeak. And this takes me back to where I was. Chopping, chopping broccoli. Oh, oh, it's over here. Da -dun -da -dun. Yeah. Get back to the minecart area. Yeah. I apparently have stamina because I can't run anymore. So I'm human. And humans are human. Climbing up these stairs reminds me of Skyrim. Going up those millions of stairs. Okay, then we turn the duck in. Duck in. No! I want to keep the duck! Not sure I enjoy going through these mysterious portals. I suppose I don't have much of a choice though. It's like in Silent Hill 2 when you're dropping down the holes and it's like, you're obviously gonna fall and break your legs on that. But you have no choice. So fucking do it. Oh man. Oh. Whoa. This is one of those Indiana Jones leaps of faith kind of thing. That is cool. This is pretty neat visuals, actually. I mean, I, I have it on medium setting, so I can only imagine what high is. Probably three more pixels than this. And a lamp post. Soul cloud. Remember when you said, I'll always be there for you. Is that a cassette tape? It is! It's a VHS! Kind of saddens me that no one will know what a VHS is in a few years. Welcome to the Mystery Foundation. Thank you. As a new employee, you are now a part of our ever growing family. Oh, god damn it! Not one of these orientation videos! Two million users with entertainment comfort and happiness every day. <laughs> Family voted number one in Decade Magazine's most influential companies of all time. Oh, that's hot. Family committed to bringing people together. Oh. But what does mystery actually do? Is it like eHarmony? We are proud to introduce to you the Soul Cloud. The Soul Cloud. Users upload their memories together with vital personality statistics and traits to our dedicated servers. 
where our industry-leading engineers sculpt this information into digital cities, towns and gardens. Upon the user's expiration, a digital soul is created which can relive these memories again and again. What's more, the deceased's family and friends can visit their soul whenever they like, making death a thing of the past. But that sounds dangerous. In? As part of the Soul Cloud's maintenance staff, you'll be working together with Seren, the Cloud's innovative security system, to do whatever it takes to ensure the smooth running of the system, from recovering vital data to walking Mrs. Smith's digital door. Puppy. As a Mystery Foundation employee, you are now a part of our family. Together Aww. we can make the impossible possible. Oh. Tell me again what the employee discount is. Uh orientation's over. Can can we get the lights up? Can we get the lights up? Oh. What? D what? It was like Slender Man. Intruders have detected. Initiating quarantine. What the f No! <laughs> I'm gonna look back. Oh no, don't look back! <laughs> don't the light! Ah! <laughs> You landed in Kingdom Hearts. That wouldn't be too bad. Into the great wide open. Ducky! I bet you I'm a dead person. Welcome to the Soul Cloud. Ducks contain messages from residents, or soul cloudians, family and friends, which have been sent from the world of the living. These messages are personal, and employees are reminded that they should not be accessed, unless they feel that the message contains dangerous material, such as viruses, explicit images, or inappropriate information that may upset the relevant in resident. Like porn. Porn, porn, porn. A uh, simple guide to cubes. Blue teleports to another part of the current memory. Green returns to residence Soul Village. White is pure memory container. And red is maintenance cube. Allows interaction with current memory. Induction. Our staff is currently unavailable, but please free to enter the Soul Cloud. Just enter the portal behind the counter, and you will be transported to your registered hub city. I just want to squeak the duck again. Now I'm thinking about portals! Load, 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 load. So far this is kind of a cool atmosphere. I dig it. It's like Psychonauts, but in the weird future. Psychonotron. Psychotron. Psychotron. Psychotronic drugs. Nope. Can't go there. Childhood memory. Okay. I'm guessing I need cubes for these. School memory. Park memory. Nope. Nope. Flying memory. Fairground memory. Where's the sex? Be oh, there it is. Beach memory. <laughs> Everybody has sex on the beach. What does that mean? Do I need a certain number of ducks to get in? Hospital memory. Oh, yep. Probably dead. Yeah, I'm What's all this in here? Hey! Yeah, slow motion with me. Something just unlocked. One of you, wasn't it? School memory? 
Hey, it was. Just goes to show you kids, look for something that didn't belong before. School. Stay in school! Mm, nope. Nope, nope, nope. If this has a little child ghost, I will smash the game. I mean, it's a digital copy, but I will smash the game. Not a fan of little girl ghosts. Eh. Get the duck. Board, board, board! MJ and DR. Michael Jackson and Dr. Ray. Well, that's some complex shit, man. Nope. Ugh. Fine, you can have that. I want to look into this. I want to stick my balls in it. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Ah, uh, high school. What a fantastic time. I mean, I guess this could be middle school. If it's foreign. Where's my flashlight? Do they give you flashlights in games like these? Oh, that's back to the main area. I have a feeling I'm coming back here again at some point. Is this like Outlast where I have to run in and hang out inside a like a locker or something? Whoa. Hey! I saw you. I saw you, bitch. Oh, it's like the piano in big! Oh. Well, shit. Are the black keys? Nope, it's just the white keys. I don't think I can play that here. Duck. No graffiti, please, David. David and Maddie. Short wavelength, high frequency, long wavelength, low frequency. Good notes, kids, good notes. How about a note that says, what the fuck is going on in here? I'm coming for you, bitch. That? What's that thing? You're as wicked and ugly as you cannot be good. What's with the screaming? it keeps moving my controls left or right, but it keeps making me dance in place. See, like, I couldn't control it right there. Stop it! Maybe it's just really touchy. Am I making Starry Night here? Vincent van Gogh!
That does not look right. So I need to somehow get a tower going on over here. There we go. I hope this is the right direction. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Why is it doing that? Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Um, I'm guessing one side has to be one picture and the other side has to be the other picture. So... Well... Unless there's... It seems like there's... More than... I don't know, it might just be me hallucinating, but it seems like there's more than four sides on each of these cubes. You know what I mean, Vern? Stop going left. Okay, so there's that picture. And that is completely wrong. There's gotta be a clue! There has to be a clue! Let's try it the other way then. If my controller will let me. Hey! Hey now, hey now. I tend to sing a lot during these videos. Because I have all this random shit references that I just think of. Ugh, I think I tripped over that thing. <laughs> Cube. Anybody seen the movie Cube? Apparently it's good. Here there's a cube in it. Maybe a rhombus. A trapezoidal figure. Trapezoidberg. Zoidberg? Mm -hmm. Oh, sounds like I got an email. Turn off your damn phone! Ooh. Earl I, the science guy. Was it what? Man, I wish I had these when I was in school. Are we doing this uh, closest to the sun? God, I'm going to seem like an idiot with this. Which one's Mercury? Mercury's white. I can't tell which one's Mercury. That looks like Venus. I'm your Venus. Oh, oh, it changes. I see, I see. I see Wiener. I'm 
I'm gonna guess it's Pluto. Kinda looks like the moon, honestly. We'll just we'll just go with it. We'll we'll go with it. Mars. Earth. Okay. <laughs> I think I completely forgot how the last like four planets go. I only remember the ones that everyone remembers. Mars, and then it goes... Jupiter, Saturn? Don't yell at me, I can't hear you. I know I'm wrong. At least I'm probably wrong. Earth! Then Uranus Neptune. And then Pluto. Let's try changing this one over here and just see what it does. Because so I think there was a gray planet of some sort. That one. All right. Is that right? Ugh. I thought Uranus was green. Uh? Uh? I win! I win! Welcome back, Pluto. Astronomical! Braganomics! Is this gonna bust out into Tiny Tunes or some shit? Uh, she left the- she pooped the duck! You will die young. Forever alone. <laughs> you will be murdered. You will meet your Prince Charming. You will go crazy. You will live forever. Your best friend will betray you. you this is some... Mm. Girls, you are fucked up when you're teenagers. I see the planets... And then art music. Stop sending me emails. Okay, so I got the maintenance ones to go through, and this is not working. What do I do? What the fuck do I do? Do I need a hall pass? Do I have to play hopscotch? <laughs> I'm getting really sick of my controller pushing me left. Detention. This is D. Johnston. Reason for assigning detention was disruptive in class. Threatening behavior towards other students. Homework diary has also been covered in graffiti. So, creepy Asian girl was not really all that scary there, but, uh, I mean, it's to be expected. They're just kind of buildings, building shit up. Oh, I can move something. Yeah! I guess I didn't have to go check out that duck. Tell him what he's won! 
you win a year's supply of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. And some sort of polygonal shape. You also get a copy of our home game. Fever. Fever when you hold me. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Making the symbol for that M. Kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be. Oh yeah! Mm. Yeah, son! Get it! Get it! Oh, this is some nice sand building you guys got in here. Ah. Alright, touch the Ubisoft logo and let's get out of here. The area of a rectangle, you multiply the same, and then a minute, and in the third year, we got the third impact, and it gets evident, and it's evident, it's evident. This is exciting. Oh. So, I'm chasing after a memory of Creepy Asian Girl. Yes? It's very evident that this is, um... Maybe she's trapped in the system or something. Ooh, I did it. And there it is. So yeah, I guess I, once I go through all the memories and collect them all here, then we're good. Yeah? And she comes back and it's a happy ending? Happy ending! Happy ending! Okay. Well, that was 30 minutes of wonderfulness. Uh, that was cool. This is Master Reboot. Thank you for being late to the party with me. And, uh, yeah. This is fun. Let's do it again sometime. Thanks for watching.